Okay, let's use what we've learned to convert our HTML page to AMP. For this exercise and all future exercises, we're going to apply what we've learned by making real code changes to our site in Glitch. Try to complete each exercise yourself. We'll give you some hints. At the end of each exercise, we'll provide the full solution. So here we go. We're going to add the missing AMP boilerplate to our site and style it with our own CSS. This will eliminate most of the AMP validation errors, except for one. So first, copy in the AMP boilerplate, which contains the AMP library script tag, boilerplate styles, the canonical link, and the viewport meta tag. Set the canonical link URL to be the same as your URL. If you get stuck or need a hint, you can always look at the standard boilerplate and the link in the video description. We've provided some styles to use throughout the courses. You can copy the styles from the link in the video description. Now, pause the video and try this out. If you've completed all the steps above, congratulations. Your page is almost a valid AMP page. If you open your page, open Chrome DevTools, and select the Console tab, you should see a Powered by AMP message. A Glitch repository with all the styles and boilerplate is available at the link in your video description. If you check the AMP validator extension, you'll see we only have one error left, the image tag validation error. This is an important error to understand. You get this error because some HTML tags are not allowed in AMP documents. Instead of image, AMP uses a custom tag called AMP image. Why is that? Let's find out. <laughs> 